This is a tutorial explaining how to conduct a meta-regression model using the CODA platform. To conduct a meta-regression, you need to first select the treatments you want to analyze. To do so, use the selection options for treatment 1 to select the kinds of treatments you want to analyze. Keep in mind that meta-regression is used to analyze variation in mean rates of cooperation across studies. In this example, I am going to select all treatments that have, been, that have involved some form of punishment of people's behavior in the social dilemma. Here you can see that I've selected punishment related independent variables. I've identified that I'm interested in punishment treatments, and one indicates a value that it is selecting punishment treatments. As you can see, uh, the selection resulted in 217 papers that had 270 studies involving 1,206 effects and with 41,047 participants. Keep in mind that when you advance to the analyses, the analysis will only be based on treatments that have documented mean levels of cooperation within the punishment treatment. So likely the analysis will be based on a subset of these studies because not all of these studies have reported this information. After selecting your treatments, to conduct a meta-regression, you can go ahead and select the meta regression option. The results are displayed in a table as well as with the raw output. There is also a description provided to help you interpret the analysis. It says meta regression of selected treatments, punishment treatment one. The estimate indicates the rate of cooperation in these treatments, the estimate being 0.57. Now, you may want to select a specific kind of analytic model. However, in this case, I am happy with the default suggestions and will proceed from here. You can also select various moderators in your, in your model. You can also select or choose to select specifying a multi-level model by clustering rates of cooperation within the same study, within the same paper, and within the same region or country in which the study was conducted. You can learn more about these options in a different tutorial, and for the current example, I will not select any moderators. Directing your attention to the table, you can see that the analysis includes 59 estimates. And uh, also the average rate of cooperation in these treatments, 0.57, 57%. The table also reports the 95% confidence interval and a statistical test of whether this sample of studies has an average rate of cooperation different from 0 0.50. In this case, the rate of cooperation is statistically greater than 0 0.50. You are also provided the 95% prediction interval, which describes the range of possible true values of the rates of cooperation. And you also have two indices of the heterogeneity of the distribution of rates of cooperation. When doing this analysis, I think it is important to account for the fact that some of these rates of cooperation are from the same study, which themselves can be from the same paper. Therefore, I will select these options to define a multi-level model.
And here you can see this analysis includes 33 unique papers and or, or 30 unique papers and 33 unique studies. You can uh, go to the tutorial on multi-level analyses to learn more about how to interpret these uh, kinds of analyses. Now, you can also view the results uh, using different visualizations. You can click on the visualization tab and when you do, you are displayed the results in a forest plot, which plots all studies and their logged proportion of cooperation and corresponding confidence intervals. At the bottom, you can see the overall result of the meta-regression, which you can see is not overlapping with zero here. You can also um, view the results in a violin plot. This plot can be used to evaluate the distribution of studies. Here there is a normal distribution of logged cooperation rates. Here you can also quickly spot outliers in the distribution of studies. You can also select the data table tab to observe a table that reports all of the data included in the meta-analysis or the meta-regression. You can sort the data in the table based on data in the different columns, such as the log rate of cooperation. And here you can quickly identify, for example, which studies had potentially uh, or were potentially uh, outliers within the sample. You can also download the data table and the data, which can be used in uh, doing analyses offline and with other programs. This was a tutorial about how you can use CODA to perform on-demand meta-regression of mean rates of cooperation, which you selected in Treatment 1 on the front page of the CODA application. We hope you can now better utilize this feature of CODA to discover more about how cooperation varies across studies.